What's it like to wake up every day suffering from sickle cell anemia? Here to share their stories are six-year-old Mr. Wale Fanu, who defied doctor's predictions that he would die at 21. Also here is Toyin Adeshola and her sister Foluke Ogumeko. You're all welcome to the show today. Thank you so much for being here, Toyin. Thank, Thank you, you Foluke. So, Uncle Wale, you defied doctor's predictions that at 21 you would die. You're 60 and you're living with, you know, um, sickle cell anemia. Yeah. What's that been um, like? It all happened, um, I think, about seven years of age. And um, we were in Zaria, and um, every now and then I have this crisis. And um, now I can call it crisis, then I don't know what it was. So when the doctor couldn't find an answer at um, 13, 1963, he gave my mother a letter to go to Kano for a blood test. So we came back with a blood test and he said, SS. Wow. And the doctor looked at my mother at the face and said, see, I'm sorry, this boy will not go past 21. Wow. As if it was going to be a true prediction. Four months before my 20th birthday, I went into coma. Hmm. Haven't taken a bottle of codeine because I had this terrible crisis around wow. Christmas period. And I got to Luth, and then, Luth was Luth then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They had to drain out the codeine. Mm -hmm. And my father said, just sit down here, don't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Wow. But have you been a sick sickler? Because you look very healthy to me. I, I mean, I, you look I, I well. work very hard to look like this. Okay, so, but have, do you get a crisis? How have you coped with it over the years? To be honest, I don't want to think about it. It's you... better imagined than thinking about what I went through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's been very, very difficult in life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So each time I remember, like we're all sitting here now, there are situations when I cannot stand up because my wow. joint is locked. Wow. You know, and when the crisis comes, the it's... most interesting part of it, when the crisis comes, it's usually about 1 a.m., 2 a.m in the middle of the night. Where you don't get help. Wow, thank you for sharing with us. You know, thank you so much.